I just can't stay away. Let's go and crack on with our brand new save here on the channel, Educating the League. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming. And well, I just can't stay away from you beautiful people, can I? And I am so, so excited to be back with you today for our new save, Educating the League. We have taken over at Oxford United in League One. And well, we've been in the job a total of five days and we've already got our first league game of the season as we travel away to Derby County for what could be a difficult game. So I've not had that much time to do anything with the team or anything with the squad. I've pulled off two loan signings so far, but that is about it. Well, I'll take you through them in a minute. We'll go and look at the squad first and then you'll be able to see who I've brought in. And then we'll crack on with today's game. Like I say, we've got Derby County first up. We'll go through the tactics. We'll do all the usual stuff you know from day one of saves. I'm sure you've had quite a few day day ones in your saves, especially this year, because I've got to be honest, this year I've struggled with FM. I have really struggled with it. I don't know why, but I have, but I've got a really good, strong feeling that this is the save that's going to last me until FM. What's the next one? 24, isn't it? FM24. So, yeah, let's go and crack on and let's have a look at the squad that we have mostly inherited since we've joined the club. And so if we have a look at it, you've, you'll see the team. This is the top 11 that I've been told is our best 11 players. And, well, you can see we've got a couple of them injured. So let's go positions. If Am I on contract? Yep, I'm on contract. And so let's go SYC views. Uh, no, that's not the one I want, is it? That's not the one I want. Where are we? Copy of reports. That's the one. And so best position. And so let's let's just take away the squad and all that being picked. And let's go over here. Let's clear the entire team selection. And here we are. So you will see. That we have got Simon Eastwood, Jack Stevens, and Ed McGinty as our goalkeepers. And well, none of them look that amazing, do they? Jack Stevens is apparently a three star keeper, but as far as I know, he's on loan. So, yeah, any Oxford United fans watching, why have you loaned out your best goalkeeper? Let me know because, well, it's causing me problems already. But anyway. Other than that, we've got Ed McGinty and Simon Eastwood, both six foot two, both, both, both kind of okay. Of course, Ed McGinty has got the more potential because Simon Eastwood is 33 years old now. And well, where has he played before? Because I've heard of him before. I think I heard of him from his Blackburn days. That's probably where I've heard of him. But we're more than likely going to be going with Ed McGinty, at least to start off the season, just to see how he goes on, how his potential is, and all of that good stuff. And then as for right-backs, we've got two, and one is the definite one that's going to be starting. Sam Long, he is 27 years old. He's 5 foot 10, three star current and potential ability. He's got a leader uh, personality style. And so, yeah, he's definitely the one we're going to be going with. And Yoav, Yoav, Saad, Said, Said, we're going with Said. Not that we're going to need to know it for very long because with one star ability and one star potential, he's not going to be lasting long with me. I can absolutely tell you that now. And, well, you can see as well that we've got one, two, three central defenders. That, that's a worry. That is a worry, people. So we've got three central defenders. One I've already brought in is Jamal Baptiste on loan from my boys, West Ham United. He's a very good young English central defender. He's one I always bring in when I'm doing lower league saves and I can get him in on loan. He's got a good first touch, good positioning, good natural fitness. He's going to be one of our starters this season. We're going to be looking to get more central defenders in as the window progresses because we've got a month of the window left. And we have got 
we've got a little bit of wage budget to play with so that is always something good and you can see as well that we've got a few players in on trial because well rather than scouting players i like giving free trial free agents uh, what do you call it trials so we can see how they get on and how and we can see them in more of a match setting than if we just send a scout out to go and look at them so as far as left backs if we discount matthew blake for a minute we've got steve seddon are you with us no you're on loan at cambridge brilliant so we've got brandon fleming we've got stuart finley and we got kieran brown so we've got three left backs and, well, again, you can see which one is going to be the one who is going to be starting most games. Although, he is on six grand a week, which is one of our higher wages. So, if we do get a decent offer for him, I'm not going to be against letting him go. I am going to tell you that right here, right now. But, as for the minute, he is our starting left back. Although, he's six foot four. Soon he be more of a centre back. Can he play centre back? Um, what's his heading like? 16 heading, 16 anticipation, tackling 14. He might be a centre-back. He might be more of a centre-back, people. And so, as for defensive midfielders, not that we're going with defensive midfielders. I'll talk you through the tactic in a minute, which you might have just seen a minute or so ago. And so, we have got Alejandro Rodriguez Gorin, which is a brilliant name. Where's he from? He is Hispanic. That's a that's a beautiful name, my man. You might just get, get to start just because of that name. But other than him, we've got Marcus McGrain. And we've got Oisin, Ozin Smythe, Ozin Smythe. Something like that. But you can see there that it's going to be out of Alejandro and Marcus for the starting position. Again, Marcus McGain has apparently has four and a half star potential ability. So I'm tempted to start him just to try and boost his potential, boost his development. But other than that, we've got one, one right-sided midfielder currently on the books at the club. So, yeah. He's definitely starting, but it helps that he looks pretty decent. Is it Javan Anderson? I think it is. He's got 12 dribbling, 11 crossing, 12 technique, 12 work rate, 12 off the ball, 15 acceleration and agility, 14 pace. So, yeah, he, he will do for now. He will very much do for now. As where was I? We are up here, aren't we? And so, yep, we have another look at Javan Anderson. And then in the centre of midfield, we've got Cameron Brannigan. We've got Lewis Bay and Zidane Iqbal, who I've brought in on loan from Manchester United. 19 years old. It feels like he's been around forever. I swear I remember hearing about him two, three years ago. But he is 19 years old. He's going to be our main advanced playmaker because you can see his attributes here. He looks very, very decent. Lewis Bate as well, who is on loan from Leeds United. He came in before my time. So, yep, he has come in. Zidane Akbao has come in. Cameron Branagan as well is pretty decent. And Lewis Beckett, and we've got Ryan Sellers, and yeah, we've got Lewis Beckett as our central midfielder who's on trial. Not looking too good for him on the current ability, but potential might be okay. See what the coaches say when his trial is done. And now, as for wingers at the club, especially left sided wingers, we don't seem to have that many, do we? In fact, we don't have. Do we not have anybody at the club whose best position is left winger? Can Marcus Brown play there? Not particularly. Ooh, this... I'm learning about this team along with all you guys. And, well, Josh Murphy, he can play there. Not to any amazing ability. Ooh. I was going to go with a 4-4-2, but... Oh, I don't know now. I really, really don't know. Tyler Goodrum, can you play left wing? Again, not really. Oh, uh, Yannick Wildshut, you're out for five to six months. So, and you'd probably be our best choice at left midfield. So, hmm. Change, quick change of tactics might be in plan before today's game against, uh, who are we playing against? Derby, isn't it? You can't play left wing, or at least left midfield, you can't. And well, okay then, that is a problem. So we've got no left wingers. 
we've got we've got probably probably central midfield is our is our best area for quality. And then up top, we have got who have we got who's actually at the club? Kyle Joseph, Sam Bulldog. Uh, Tyler Smith and Gatelyn Odonka, which is again is another beautiful name, isn't it? Tyler Smith is three star current, four star potential. Sam Bulldock, you're 33 years old, but you're probably our best striker. Three and a half star current, three and a half star potential. Kyle Joseph, where are you on loan from? You're on loan from Swansea, local team to me. You're on loan from them, and so you're three star current, three. Four, maybe five-star potential ability. We might have to do a David Moyes and go one up top. That is what I am thinking. But just before we do get into the game, let's have a look at the other bits around the club. Let's have a look at the finances. Because we are two and a half million in profit at the moment, which is always nice to see. And which is a little bit weird for down here, down at League One. But I'm happy with that. We've got a 100k transfer budget. We haven't spent any of that yet. And we are still, what, about just a grand or so under the wage budget. So, again, after this game, I'll be able to do a little bit more transfer dealing, try and get a few more players in. And so that is all very, very healthy. Although, oh, first time looking at this, uh, 4 million in debt at the end of the season. 10 million at the end of next season, 15 the season after that. Yeah, promotion needs to happen rather quickly, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, and the competitions. We, of course, enter the FA Cup in the first round. We're playing Plymouth in the first round of the Carabao Cup. And the stupid Pizza Cup, we enter in the 31st of August. So a month or so from now. Let's have a look at the predictions that we've got for this season. Season preview. We are expected to finish 11th. And... And we have got one player in, in the dream team for this league. Cameron Brannigan. I don't think I looked at him too much earlier. But yeah, you can see why. Come on. How have we got this guy? How he, I know we're paying him 10 grand, but for this level, he is definitely worth that. He's a scouser, so of course he's aggressive. He's got good fitness, good stamina. Uh, passing's decent. Work rate's good. Teamwork's good. Yeah, we're building the team around this fella. And so, 11th is where we're expected to finish. I'm hoping for playoffs. I am hoping for playoffs. And so, dynamics. Team cohesion is very poor. Team's collective mental state is disappointing at the moment. Managerial support. I've got a strong influence over the players. And I've got a good reputation when compared with the players. What reputation did I give myself? Um, Continental A license. And can I see, can I see what, what like, um, uh, I can't remember. You know what, I can't remember what actual profile I gave myself as for past playing experience, but Continental A license, so that's a decent one for this kind of level. We've got 16 mentals, 18 motivating, because I do like, do like the motivating preset when you set up a new manager. So yeah, that is what we are going with. And reputation, what, is it going to tell me there what I've got? Nope. 15% apparently, but which is still pretty strong compared to the team. And so, well, with all that waffling out of the way, you know how these first episodes go. They're always a little bit longer. So anyway, with that out of the way, shall we crack on with the game? I think we should. Here's the team for today's game. We've got McGinty in goal, Finley, Brown, Baptiste, Long are the back four. We've gone with a 4 3 2 1. This is a tactic I've used in other saves and it's gone quite well. So, yeah, Bate, Brannigan, Iqbal in the middle of the park, Brown and Kanati as the two just behind the main striker today, Tyler Smith. And so, yep, yeah, this, should, this should be an interesting game. Derby, of course, probably one of the better teams in the league. 
And, well, we're just waiting to see how we get on against them. Hopefully, if we can get a decent result, that might actually give us some confidence for the rest of the season. Here is the Derby team for today's game. Wild Smith in goal. Smith, Stearman, Cassin, Forsyth, Bird, Hurahan, Mendes Lane, Knight, Springer and James Collins are the, the 11 to take us on today at Pride Park. And, well, you can see their preferred formation, 4-2-3-1. They're saying ours is a 4-3-3. That's not what we're going with, as you've seen. So I don't know why the game's saying that, but whatever. And now first game in charge, first team talk. Um, We've got nothing to lose here. No reaction. That's not a good start, is it, boys and girls? Um, well, again, after that, just saying I believe in you. We've got one decent reaction, two, three, four decent reactions out of 11. Yeah. Prediction time as always. Who knew us? Come on, you've got to be confident for your first game in charge, haven't you? Half an hour in and we've finally got our first highlight of this save. It's our keeper clearing the ball long, but Derby do collect it. And now it's Bird into Smith. Smith with the ball coming forward. He goes inside to Bird. Bird, Bird, Bird. Bird is the word, apparently. And now it's Stearman. Smith. Once again, Derby keeping the ball very nicely here. Mendes Lang with a long shot. McGinty parries it. And it luckily goes out for a corner ball for Derby, which I believe is going to be Derby's first of the game. And it's going to be Spring it to take it. Can he spring it into a dangerous area? Oh, he can. Our keeper has absolutely flapped at that. And Long has had to head that ball away for another corner. What was McGinty thinking there? But now, spring it again from the other side now. He's going to cross it in as an outswinger this time. And it does get headed away a little bit better now. But spring it to Forsyth. Forsyth with a long shot. And that is curled past the post. And it remains Derby nil, Oxford nil. Oh, here we go. Just like the buses, you wait half hour for a highlight. And then you get two in quick succession. It's us now attacking. Iqbal into Kanati, into Tyler Smith, who turns. And what a goal. What a goal is that. Tyler Smith. Wowzers. He has produced a worldie there. No goalkeeper in the world is going to save that. Wow. Brannigan into Iqbal to Kanati. Tyler Smith took it. One touch to turn. Second touch to absolutely flump it into the back of the net. Come on! And now, just before half-time, Brannigan with a free kick for us. Derby eventually deal with it, do they? Hurahan gets the ball out of the box, but we collect it. Brown keeps it in. Goes back to Finlay. And Finlay now with the ball. Coming forward with it. Finley, and he goes and he has the ball taken off him by Knight for Derby. He is just a thief in the night, that guy, isn't he? He's played the ball long. And can we just see this through to half time, please? Although a second goal would be nice. We've got a minute left to hopefully score it. Brannigan into Iqbal, into Kanati. Smith plays it through Bate. Bate has broken through. And Bate, and it is, it's not a second. It's not a second. Calm down, Spen. Calm down. What it is, though, is half time. And we are leading Pride Park, Oxford United, one, Derby County, nil. And, well, looking at the match stats, Derby have had five shots, two are four. We've had two on target. Our XG is a little bit better at 0.37. 59% of the ball we have had, though. That is what I do like about this tactic. You dominate possession with this particular tactic. And, well, as I always say on my commentaries, this one here is my favourite stat. Passes completed. Derby have completed 183 of 227 passes. We have completed 281 of 320. So that tells you the tactics that both teams are going with, doesn't it? And now into the dressing room we go. Hands on hips. Well done on controlling possession. That's the reaction you want in it, boys and girls. And now, come on. Come on, make me look, look like a genius. Give me a second goal for a 2-0 win, please. 
just over 20 minutes of the game left to go and we've got the first highlight of the second half. Finley with the ball into Brannigan and Brannigan wide to bait who goes back to Jamal Baptiste who goes wide to Long who, who can run forward if he wants. He's got a bit of space and he does. He goes out wide and now is he going to cross this ball in? Oh, he does, but it takes a deflection, I think. And Lang gets it. And now Vigar on the counter for Derby County. And Vigar, what can he do with it? And he's played it through to Collins. Collins with the ball and Sibley's in space. And oh, it's the ex-West Ham man who's equalised against us. Oh, Sibley, Sibley, Sibley. What are you doing to me, mate? That was much, much too easy. Look at the space here. 30 seconds after I praised the team, they go and leave all that space. Even I could have scored that one. Even I could have scored that one. Following that goal, I've made one, two, three, four substitutions all at once just because the players coming off were looking very, very tired. We've got Anderson, Moore, Gorin, and Josh Murphy coming on for Long, Baptiste, Iqbal and Marcus Brown. Marcus Brown had a disappointing game. I was, I've was, i been excited to see how he's going to do for us. And well, he's had a quiet game in that Sado striker role. But with 20 minutes left and a lot of fresh legs, hopefully we can go on and win this. Come on, lads. Oh, five minutes left to go in the game. Brannigan with a free kick for us, but Derby do head it away. And it's Derby on the counter again. Are they going to hurt us once more? Mendes laying. Mendes laying with the ball. Come on, we've got to close him down. We've got to win this back. Come on, lads. Bird. Stearman. Stearman with it. And Lang now. Lang. Oh, come on. Why are we not winning this ball back? Oh, we almost did then, but... It did not happen. And now Brown to bait to Finley. I've told the boys to go a little bit longer with their passing. Now that we are just a few minutes from the end. But we've given the ball away. And now it's Vigar on the counter. It's Vigar on the counter. He's gone for a long shot. And thankfully he has. Because that was terrible. Will, will this game ever end? Derby have got the ball again. They've crossed it into the box. We've got. What, just over two minutes of injury time remaining. Anderson with it. And Anderson now coming forward with the ball. He has gone long. And can Smith get onto this? No, he can't. And Derby now have the ball for possibly one more chance. Bird. And he's giving it away. Finley intercepting it brilliantly. But Finley can only give it away. Neither side keeping hold of the ball right now. Anderson. Anderson with the ball. He's coming forward. Come on, he needs some help here. He's played it forward to Rodriguez. Rodriguez square it. He's shot. We've scored. We've won it in the last minute. We've won it in injury time. Yes. Yeah. What a game to return to YouTube with. We have surely won it now. What a pass that was. And then Rodriguez, I was dying for him to pass it, but he knew better. And he has won this game for us. Oh, what a game of football. Yes. That is the final whistle. We have come to Derby and we have beaten them. And it's two goals to one. It has finished. And you can see on the match stats, they had 10 shots to our nine. Three on target to our three. XG, theirs was actually a little bit better. Well, we got lucky, but we did dominate possession, 62%. And we completed 582 passes compared to their 312. Very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Let's go outstretched arms. Nobody gave us a chance, but you played magnificently. And well, guys. It's the first game of the season, so I'm not going to show you the league table. Nobody cares about the league table this early on, do they? But thank you so, so much for joining me here today. I know it's been a little bit of a longer one, but of course it is the first episode, so it's going to be. But if you have enjoyed this, do me 
not one, not two, but three massive favours. It will mean so much to me. I know I'm a cheeky guy, but they're not going to take you long. Number one, like the video. Episode ones really do need to be liked for YouTube to go, oh, this is actually good. I'm going to show this to other people. So like the video. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And as well as that, last one. Follow me on Twitter. Brand new name on Twitter now. S Taylor Coms is the name on Twitter because I'm concentrating more on commentating and football reporting and all that good stuff these days. And so that's all that's left for me to say. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with you in about six or seven games time to to see to to show you how we've been getting on with Oxford United. Thank you very much. Bye.